Hi again, John Nielsen here with Wing Chun Hall. And I thought this time I'd share with you the history of Wing Chun as written by the late Grandmaster Yip Man. The founder of the Wing Chun Kung Fu system, Miss Yim Wing Chun, was a native of Canton, China. As a young girl, she was intelligent and athletic, upstanding and manly. She was betrothed to Lung Bok Cho, a salt merchant of Fujian. Soon after that, her mother died. Her father, Yim Yi, was wrongfully accused of a crime and nearly went to jail. So the family moved far away and finally settled down at the foot of Tai Lung Mountain at the Yunnan Sichuan border. There they earned a living by selling tofu. All this happened during the reign of Emperor Kangxi, 1662 to 1722. At the time, Kung Fu was becoming very strong in Suwa Monastery, or Shaolin Monastery, of Mount Sung Hona. This aroused the fear of the Manchu government, which sent troops to attack the monastery. They were unsuccessful. A man called Chan Man Wai was the first placed graduate of the civil servant examination that year. He was seeking favor with the government and suggested a plan. He plotted with Sula monk Ma Ning Yi and others. They set fire to the monastery while soldiers attacked it from the outside. Sulam was burnt down, and the monks scattered. Buddhist abbess Umoi, abbot Chi Xin, abbot Bak Mei, master Feng Tao Da, and master Miu Hin escaped and fled their separate ways. Umoi took refuge in White Crane Temple on Mount Tai Lung, also known as Mount Chai Har. There she came to know Yim Yi and his daughter, Yim Wing Chun. She bought bean curds at their store, they became friends. Wing Chun was a young woman then, and her beauty attracted the attention of a local bully. He tried to force Wing Chun to marry him. She and her father were very worried. Mui learned of this and took pity on Wing Chun. She agreed to teach Wing Chun fighting techniques so that she could protect herself. Then she would be able to solve the problem with the bully and marry Lung Bak Cho, her betrothed husband. So, Wing Chun followed Wing Mui into the mountains and started to learn Kung Fu. She trained night and day and mastered the techniques. Then she challenged the local bully to a fight and beat him. Wing Mui set off to travel around the country, but before she left, she told Wing Chun to strictly honor the Kung Fu traditions, to develop her Kung Fu after her marriage, and to help the people working to overthrow the Manchu government and restore the Ming Dynasty. This is how Wing Chun Kung Fu was handed down by Abbas Wing Mui. After the marriage, Wing Chun taught her Kung Fu to her husband, Lung Bok Cho, and he passed his Kung Fu techniques on to Lung Wang Kwai. Lung Wang Kwai passed it on to Wang Wabo. Wang Wabo was a member of an opera troupe on board a junk known to the Chinese as the Red Junk. Wang worked on the Red Junk with Lung Yi Tai. It also happened that Abbot Chi Xin, who fled from Sulung, had disguised himself as a cook and was now working on the Red Junk. Chi Xin taught the six and a half point long pull techniques to Lung Yi Tai. Wang Wa Bo was close to Lung Yi Tai and they shared what they knew about Kung Fu. Together they correlated and improved their techniques and thus the six and a half point long pull techniques were incorporated into the Wing Chun Kung Fu system. Lung Yi Tai passed the Kung Fu on to Lung Jian, a well-known herbal doctor in Foshan. Lung Jian grasped the innermost secrets of Wing Chun and attained the highest level of proficiency. Many Kung Fu masters came to challenge him, but all were defeated. Lung Jan became very famous. Later, he passed his Kung Fu on to Chen Huashan, who took me, that is Yipan, as his student many decades ago. I studied Kung Fu alongside my Kung Fu brothers such as Ng Su Lo, Ng Chung So, Chan Yu Min, and Liu Jai. Wing Chun was thus passed down to us, and we are eternally grateful to our Kung Fu ancestors and teachers. We will always remember and appreciate our roots, and this shared feeling will always keep our Kung Fu brothers close together. This is why I am organizing the Wing Chun Fellowship, and I hope my Kung Fu brothers will support me in this. This will be very important in the promotion of Kung Fu. There is a note with the text. It says, the text in Chinese was a rough draft written by the late Grand Master Yip Man, and was supposed to be the preface for the purpose of organizing the Wing Chun Tong Fellowship, once upon a time. However, the Wing Chun Tong Fellowship never came into existence. Instead, 
the Wing Chun Athletic Association was finally established on 24 August 1967. Thank you. Next time I'll share with you what's wrong with this story.